Hey, what's going on my friend? This is Matthew Hamill with Local Contractor Blueprint and today's video is all about how to get construction leads and really how to cancel as many freaking yellow page advertising accounts as possible because they just don't work. I've come across so many clients that um, I do. I, I run a kitchen remodel company, but I also do uh, consulting still, if you know my story. Um, I do consulting still for, for small local businesses, but um, since I've been in the construction industry, I've learned a lot about marketing a construction company. Um, so all of my consulting efforts have kind of been focused in that direction. When I first meet with a client, uh, we go through a marketing audit. It's a two-page audit. It's like 80 questions. It's really set up to find out exactly what they're doing, what's working for them, how much money they're spending, and um, to just evaluate it and to make some adjustments and make some recommendations uh, to get them started on the right track for getting more results. And nine and a half times out of ten, everybody has a Yellow Pages advertising account. I actually have one client right now who's just getting ready to cancel his account um, because he was pretty much paying 400 bucks a month for a website. I'm in the wrong business, that's for sure. 400 bucks a month for a website, that's absolutely ridiculous. But it was part of their advertising package that he had and um, he was getting no traffic whatsoever. He had some tracking um, and it showed that he got zero traffic, never got any phone calls. Uh, never got any email leads or anything like that and he was still paying four hundred dollars a month four hundred dollars a month is a ton of advertising money uh, that can be thrown into something that's more effective like google adwords um, so it's absolutely ridiculous to think that that yellow pages and this oftentimes this is an old school mentality you'll find a lot of contractors that are in their 40s 50s 60s that still believe in the good old yellow pages when it really doesn't work Nobody's uh, buying phone or using phone books anymore, and uh, nobody's searching yellow pages for anything. They're on Google first, YouTube second, uh, and then they're jumping on Yelp or Angie's List for anything else that they need in regards to construction. So please, please, please understand that yellow pages is the worst place to try to find leads, hands down. Now, if it's working for you and you're doing something that that's a little bit different than just name, rank, and serial number. Um, go for it but if you're not getting an ROI on it which most contractors aren't it's probably best that you just cut your losses cancel your account and move on to something that's actually going to give you a return on your investment now the second thing I wanted to cover is uh, SEO um, a lot of contractors want to be on the first page of Google everybody wants to be on the first page of Google that slot for certain keywords is worth hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars um, we've done it I mean right now we're in uh, we're in the beginning of our second year and uh, our first year we uh, did a little over seven hundred thousand dollars and um, it's just been phenomenal and we are continuing to grow and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger for us and that's the magic of getting a first page ranking on Google with those keywords but the problem is with SEO it takes so long I mean it took us three to six months to start seeing organic traffic with search engine optimization so what we did when we first started I, I kinda knew that we should start doing AdWords and we did we started with AdWords and my strategy was let's build out a campaign as broad as we can not, not as broad it's gotta be targeted right but you wanna build the campaign as big as you possibly can to make sure you cover all angles because you're really trying to find out what keywords are going to be your money keywords, what keywords are going to convert, what headlines are going to convert, what uh, landing pages work best, things like that. All of this is just, you're, you're paying for your education if you will. This is the school of hard knocks as Perry Marshall says. You're really paying to learn about your target audience. And with Google AdWords, once you do enough tracking and you've spent you know a good amount of money and done a, a lot of keyword research and just really looked at what's winning for you really looked at what keywords are bringing in money then you can focus all of your SEO efforts on those keywords and on those variations of those phrases because you already know that those are winners so if you use the same thing in SEO you're nine times out of ten you're gonna get the right kind of traffic you're gonna get the same kind of traffic the high quality traffic that you were getting from your AdWords campaign. It's just that now, after three to six months of working on your SEO, you're no longer paying for clicks. And since most contractors are absolutely 
clueless, and I mean no offense to you, um, but most of them are clueless on actually how to do SEO, um, or they're scared to pay somebody because they think somebody's just going to rip them off, which there are some guys that do it, but there's some guys that know what they're doing. Um, but since they don't take action on the SEO, the chances of somebody knocking you off the first page of Google for your local area for whatever trade you're in are slim to none. One, if you can get in the top three rankings on Google, nobody's going to touch you unless they've watched this video and read the same books that we've read and, and uh, mastered the same strategies we have. But for the most part, there's really no need to worry about your, com your competitors ever, ever, ever being able to knock you off that first spot. And with covering SEO and pay-per-click advertising, um, the next thing you need to uh, consider when you want to generate construction leads is you need a place to send these people, right? You need a place to send this traffic, whether it's organic or paid, they got to go somewhere. And the best way to do it, well, let me, let me take that back a little bit. Um, the best way to do it for paid advertising, right? Because you only have a small amount of time, a very, very small amount of time to get the person's attention, get them to read your headline or your offer, get them to sign up for a free quote or whatever the heck you're offering, your, your ethical bribe, if you will. You only have a few seconds for that. And if you can't engage within the first three to five seconds, you've just wasted the money on that click. And the other thing for SEO is that you're probably going to be better off using a blog. You don't want to SEO your main domain. Uh, that, that's the SEO is a whole other vi series of videos. But essentially, you're going to be blogging. That's what's going to bring in the most traffic. That's how we've built our business. Um, is essentially with blogging. And my dad, it's a running joke now because um, you know, for pay per click, when business got too much, I could turn it off. But with SEO, you can't turn it off. So I, there was one day where he was like, dude, like we're too busy. We don't have enough help. We're having management issues and we've got all these clients. We just turn it off. And I'm like, I can't, man. Like it's up there now. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, but we did it with blogging. And that would be the one thing that I recommend that you do is, is to start a blog. Build your website with a blog in mind and build your website with with giving as much value as you possibly can in mind. So, but those are going to be the two things and you can put them on the same page. You can have a blog and have a bunch of different posts on whatever the topics you want to cover for your trade. And then you can have an individual page um, that's just a landing page for all your paid advertising. Um, so that way they're not stuck searching around and looking and, and increasing the chances of clicking off your website. You want to get them to the point and you want to get them to opt in on that list. That's just a, a primer, if you will, on generating construction leads. I hope you got some value out of this video. I'm going to do more videos like this just, just to get into, into more of the nitty gritty of uh, generating construction leads. But um, if you'd like more information on uh, marketing your construction business or if you want to sign up for a free strategy session, you can click the link below this video. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube or even if you're on my website, get off my website, watch the video on YouTube, and then subscribe, 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 subscribe. Until next time, my friend, this is Matthew Hamill with Local Contractor Blueprint. Hope you have a phenomenal day.